All right, and what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Ranking of Kings episode 10. I don't have anything to say for the start of this episode, but I'm super looking forward to it. Uh, prob apologize, this is quite late today. Uh, I was obviously quite busy with my day, but uh, it's coming out now. Very excited for this episode. And yeah, anyway, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, God, I really want to see Bodji actually use his techniques and stuff. I want to see him be strong. Oh, it's an actual sword, but it's like a really small one. Whoa, is it super light or what? What? How did that fit in there? What the hell? I mean, <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know the specific name for them, but they're, they're like fences swords. They're good in the right hands. I mean, we've seen what you can apparently do with it, so clearly something's working. Yeah, literally, like, people, if people doubt you, you just have to show them how strong you are with this pin-needle sword. Exactly. Kage, you gotta, gotta have his back, bro. Now that I look at it, it looks like it does just fit in the sleeve. But the perspective of when we saw it was very different. Invincible? Woo! Really? I... <laughs> Aban. Lane. Born. Oh, I hope Bodgy gets to fight these guys. That would be so cool. Like, not engaging them is just going to make them angry. Is that going to set him off because he called him a camel face? Oh shit, he is strong. <laughs> oh my god, Despa, this guy. Isn't this guy meant to be the strongest? Or like he's stronger than his brother who's number two. Oh god, Boji, why? Oh, shit, Bodgy can take a punch. What the hell? <laughs> really? Really? Bro, please do show me, because I'm confused how he's going to be able to defeat this guy. Yeah, it didn't do anything. What? Wait, what? What is he doing? Is he ha is he hitting like their weak points or something? Yes, it is actually. Wow. Okay. I didn't know it's such a small impact like that could do it though. Bro, is he able to find anything's weak point? That's really cool, actually. Oh shit. Bodgy might take this guy's life. I mean, Bodgy sliced a boulder in half. What did this do? Did he actually cut him down? What? How did he do that? I'm so confused. What is going on? Oh, why would you do that? Oh, this I actually do know about as well. Like, you can actually take, like crazy damage like that but as long as it doesn't hit anywhere that's very cool i'm learning i'm learning this is such a cool way to fight and it's like is it going to be treated how you know regular warriors are treated in this world probably not but if he can make results it's all about science despa's actually really smart i mean he'd never kill them though he would only ever knock them out. Never mind, he apparently can. <laughs> Look at him, oh my god. Yeah, he, he, he was expecting this flashy, great strength, when in reality you just need to use your brain. But how would this work on like a non-humanoid thing, like a monster or something? 
Yeah, I don't know what he said. But as long as Bodgy knows. Can you speak Bodgy? But Kage understands him, so yeah, I guess that's awesome. Mental fortitude, a righteous heart, and a big f bloody brain. That's how Bodgy's going to be his opponents. I am loving this. Hell yes. Shit, I'm impressed. Okay. This is not what I was expecting, but it makes sense what he's saying. I can't wait to see him actually fight something that's not humanoid, though, to see the extent of what he's actually taught Bodgy about different creatures. What the hell? Oh no! It was an act? Wait, it was an... No, it was an act of him fighting Despa, or...? Oh shit, so okay, so... No, 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 Bodgy is still strong. He just paid this guy, he wanted to... He's just following Despa's orders to attack them. Okay, that's fine. For a second there, I thought Despa was just tricking Bodgy, but yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. What is this amazing skill that he's acquired then? Oh, so the serpent? Like, the snake taught him how to be fast? That's cool. <laughs> Bro, that is so cool. Yeah, you've got to use your hacky, Boji. Come on. <laughs> that is so fucking cool. Boji is actually going to be so powerful and so powerful and yet so weak. It, that is so cool. Beppin is really such a good guy. Can't believe I ever doubted him. Beppin, Bebin, sorry. So is this how is this the same way how Despa fights then, I wonder? So is this how he's managed to be stronger than everyone else? That's pretty cool. It, clearly it's working for him. Oh, so the snake taught him how to read lips too. That's cool. Hell yeah, for sure, definitely. That's all he needs to do. That's all he'd want to do. Definitely a prophecy. I definitely believe Boji's gonna save Dida. It is indeed. You need to get back home as soon as you're able to. I understand. Bebin is clearly a very good person to Boji and Dida. Obviously, he believes Dida is more fit to be king, but... It's not, it's not, he's not got even against Bodgy because of this. Oh no, Bodgy, you have the wrong idea. Oh hell no. Bodgy, don't suspect your mom. She's so good. She loves you so much. Yeah, look at all that she's done for you. Oh, Kage. Yeah, believe in your mom. You know how good she is. Oh, Helling is so cute. He's actually really pretty, now that I think about it. Oh, I fucking love this kid, man. Just let him do it, Kage. He's doing what he has to do. Giving himself courage. Oh, look at that face. <gasps> yes, I'm so excited. Who the flip is this? Alright, so that was Ranking of Kings episode 10. That was a really, really fucking good episode. I mean, all of the Ranking of Kings episodes have been awesome, but like, actually I've seen an explanation of what Boji's power is, and it's not just some random bullshit, like, ass pull, like... I don't know why I ever doubted that, but this story is phenomen f like phenomenal. And it's um, really kind of the explanation for Bodgy's ability. And um, obviously, he's uh, Despa mentioned that there's some still hidden ability that we haven't seen yet that Bodgy may or may not want to use. 
But like, I, I really love the explanation of his ability. Boji is very clearly very smart. And like I said, mental fortitude. What was it? A big heart. And hella, hella smart uh, is just like, damn, it's, it's going to win in battles. And like I said, it's going to be interesting to see him go up against different kinds of creatures. Um, especially, you know, ones, like I said, non-humanoid ones. But the uh, you know their organs, their pain receptors, and stuff like that are all in the same place. But uh, yeah, overall, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Now, hopefully, they now they will actually uh, be en route to home. Hopefully, we don't know if that's going to happen straight away. But uh, we're only what halfway through this anime at the moment on episode ten. So yeah, still got a lot more fun budgie journey to go. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.